How to make a movie about food. The pre-production phase involves planning and preparing for the actual filming process. The first step in this phase is to come up with a concept for the documentary. This may involve selecting a specific cuisine or dish, or exploring the cultural significance of food. Once the concept has been decided, the next step is to research and gather information about the topic. This may involve speaking with experts in the field, visiting restaurants and markets, or exploring the history of the cuisine. After the research is complete, the next step is to create a script or an outline for the documentary. The script should include the narrative of the film, the tone and style, and the overall message that the filmmakers hope to convey. Once the script is finalized, the next step is to assemble the crew and cast. This may include a director, a cinematographer, a sound engineer, and a host. Additionally, location scouting, equipment rental, and budgeting should be completed during this phase. The production phase is where the actual filming takes place. This phase usually entails filming in different locations, interviewing chefs and food experts, and capturing footage of the cooking process. It is important to have a clear idea of what needs to be captured on film, and to have a plan for how to capture it. This may involve using different camera angles, lighting, and sound recording techniques. Once the filming is complete, the post-production phase begins. This phase involves editing the footage, adding sound effects and music, and creating a final cut of the film. The first step in this phase is to review all the footage that has been captured and select the best shots. The next step is to create a rough cut of the film, which will serve as the foundation for the final cut. The rough cut will help the filmmakers to determine if the film's narrative is effective and if any additional footage or interviews are necessary. Once the rough cut is complete, the next step is to add sound effects and music. This is an important part of the post-production phase, as music and sound can help to create a specific mood or tone for the film. The final step is to create the final cut of the film, which is the completed version that will be shown to the audience. 1. Jiro Dreams of Sushi, 2011 Jiro Dreams of Sushi is a documentary about Jiro Ono, an 85-year-old sushi master in Tokyo. The film follows Jiro as he prepares sushi at his Michelin three-star restaurant, Sukiyabashi Jiro, and portrays the dedication and passion that goes into creating the perfect sushi dish. The film's structure is simple and straightforward, with the story being told primarily through interviews with Jiro and his apprentices. The theme of the film is the pursuit of perfection and the sacrifices that must be made to achieve it. The techniques used in the film include close-up shots of the sushi and its preparation, as well as slow-motion footage. 2. Chef's Table, 2015 Chef's Table is a Netflix original documentary series that explores the lives and careers of some of the world's most renowned chefs. Each episode focuses on a different chef and their unique culinary style and personal story. The structure of the series is episodic, with each episode standing on its own as a self-contained story. The theme of the series is the passion and drive that motivates these chefs to create culinary masterpieces. 
The techniques used include beautiful cinematography, slow motion shots, and close ups of the food being prepared and served. 3. Salt, fat, acid, heat, 2018 Salt, fat, acid, heat is a Netflix original series that explores the fundamental elements of cooking. The series is hosted by chef and author Samin Nasrat, who travels around the world to explore how different cultures use these four basic elements to create delicious and unique dishes. The structure of the series is episodic, with each episode focusing on a different element of cooking. The theme of the series is the universality of cooking and the importance of understanding the basic elements of food preparation. The techniques used include beautiful scenery shots, slow motion footage and overhead shots of the cooking process. 4. Ugly Delicious 2018 Ugly Delicious is a Netflix original series that explores popular foods that may not be considered high-end cuisine. The series is hosted by chef David Chang, who seeks to break down cultural barriers. When it comes to creating a food documentary, there are a few key elements to consider. First and foremost, it is important to have a clear concept in mind. This could be anything from exploring the history of a particular cuisine to showcasing the unique flavors of a particular region. Whatever the concept may be, it is important to have a clear idea of what you want to achieve with your documentary. Once you have a concept in mind, you can begin to develop your storyline. This should be a cohesive narrative that takes your viewers on a journey through the world of food. It could be a story of a chef on a quest to perfect a particular dish, or the journey of a particular ingredient from farm to table. Whatever the storyline may be, it is important to make it engaging and relatable to your audience. In addition to having a clear concept and storyline, it is also important to consider your visual approach. How will you present your documentary visually? Will you incorporate interviews with chefs and food experts, or will you rely on beautiful shots of food and scenery to tell your story? Whatever approach you choose, it is important to make sure that it aligns with your concept and storyline. With these elements in mind, here is a possible outline for a food documentary. 1. Introduction Explain the concept of the documentary and introduce the audience to the topic. 2. How to create a sense of peace in your movies. Creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film can be a powerful way to captivate audiences and convey important messages. In this article, we will explore some techniques and strategies for creating a sense of calm and serenity in your films. Setting and Location One of the most effective ways to create a sense of peace and tranquility in a film is to use the setting and location to your advantage. This can involve filming in natural, peaceful environments, such as a quiet beach or a tranquil forest. When selecting a location for your film, it's important to consider the mood and atmosphere of the setting, and to use the natural elements of the location to enhance the sense of calm and serenity. Music and Sound Design Music and sound design are important elements in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using calming, ambient music or the natural sounds of the environment. When selecting music and sound effects for your film, it's important to consider the mood and tone of each scene, and to use music and sound design to enhance the emotions and themes of the film. Cinematography Cinematography is a crucial element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using slow, smooth camera movements, and capturing the natural beauty and stillness of the environment. 
When filming your movie, it's important to use cinematography to create a sense of space and stillness, and to use camera movements to enhance the mood and tone of each scene. Lighting and color Lighting and color are important elements in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using warm, natural lighting and soft, muted colors. When selecting lighting and color for your film, it's important to consider the mood and atmosphere of each scene, and to use lighting and color to enhance the emotions and themes of the film. Editing and pacing Editing and pacing are crucial elements in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using slow, deliberate cuts and a relaxed pace to create a sense of stillness and calm. When editing your film, it's important to consider the pace and rhythm of each scene, and to use editing to enhance the mood and tone of the film. It's also important to use pacing to create a sense of space and stillness, and to allow the audience to fully immerse themselves in the peaceful atmosphere of the film. Characterization Characterization is an important element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve creating characters who embody the qualities of peace and serenity, such as wisdom, compassion, and kindness. When creating characters for your film, it's important to consider their personalities and motivations, and to use characterization to enhance the emotions and themes of the film. By creating characters who embody the qualities of peace and tranquility, you can create a sense of calm and serenity that resonates with the audience. Dialogue Dialogue is an important element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using minimal dialogue to allow the natural sounds of the stillness of the environment to take center stage. When writing dialogue for your film, it's important to consider the mood and tone of each scene, and to use dialogue to enhance the emotions and themes of the film. By using minimal dialogue, you can create a sense of stillness and calm that resonates with the audience. Symbolism Symbolism is a powerful way to create a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using symbols that represent peace and serenity, such as a dove, a lotus flower, or a calm body of water. When using symbolism in your film, it's important to consider the meaning and significance of each symbol, and to use symbolism to enhance the emotions and themes of the film. By using symbols that represent peace and tranquility, you can create a sense of calm and serenity that resonates with the audience. Natural movement Natural movement is an important element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve using slow, deliberate movements to create a sense of stillness and calm. When directing your actors, it's important to consider their movements and gestures, and to use natural movement to enhance the mood and tone of each scene. By using natural movement, you can create a sense of stillness and calm that resonates with the audience. Theme Theme is a crucial element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve exploring themes that relate to peace, such as forgiveness, compassion, and understanding. When developing the theme for your film, it's important to consider the message and tone of the film, and to use the theme to enhance the emotions and themes of the film. By exploring themes that relate to peace, you can create a sense of calm and serenity that resonates with the audience. Storytelling Storytelling is a crucial element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. 
This can involve using a simple and straightforward narrative structure, with a clear beginning, middle, and end. When developing the story for your film, it's important to consider the emotions and themes that you want to convey, and to use storytelling to enhance the message of the film. By using a simple and straightforward narrative structure, you can create a sense of calm and serenity that resonates with the audience. Creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film requires careful consideration of the various elements that contribute to the mood and atmosphere of the film. By using dialogue, symbolism, natural movement, and theme, you can create a film that captivates audiences and conveys important messages. With the right approach and attention to detail, a film that creates a sense of peace and tranquility can inspire and uplift viewers, and make a lasting impact in the world of cinema. Emotion Emotion is an important element in creating a sense of peace and tranquility in a film. This can involve exploring emotions that relate to peace, such as joy, contentment, and gratitude. Filming Techniques to Create Horror Effects One of the most important techniques in horror film cinematography is the use of lighting. Lighting can be used to create a sense of foreboding, or to obscure the action in the scene, making the viewer feel uneasy. One common technique is to use low-key lighting, which creates a lot of shadows and contrast. This can be used to create an ominous atmosphere, as well as to hide the face of the antagonist. Another technique that is commonly used in horror film cinematography is the use of camera angles. A low camera angle can be used to make a character appear more powerful and menacing. Conversely, a high camera angle can make a character appear smaller and weaker. Dutch angles, where the camera is tilted at an angle, can be used to create a sense of disorientation and unease. Horror film cinematography also relies heavily on sound design. The right sound effects can be used to create a sense of dread and anticipation. Music can be used to create tension and suspense, while silence can be used to create a sense of unease. One of the most important tools in horror film cinematography is the use of special effects. Practical effects, such as makeup and prosthetics, can be used to create gruesome and terrifying creatures. CGI can be used to create supernatural effects, such as ghosts and demons. These effects can be used to create a sense of horror and terror that is difficult to achieve with traditional cinematography techniques. Lastly, horror films often rely on the use of jump scares. A jump scare is a sudden, unexpected event that is designed to startle the viewer. Jump scares can be used to create a sense of tension and anticipation, as the viewer waits for the next one to occur. In conclusion, horror film cinematography is an important aspect of the horror film genre. Techniques such as lighting, camera angles, sound design, special effects, and jump scares are all important tools that can be used to create a sense of suspense, fear, and dread. By using 1. POV, point of view, shots. A POV shot is typically used to establish the perspective of the character in the scene immersing the viewer in the character's experience. In a horror film, 
This can be used to create a sense of impending danger by putting the viewer in the shoes of the character who is being stalked or hunted. This technique can be used to build tension and fear by making the viewer feel as though they are being watched or followed. 2. Low Angle Shots a low angle shot is taken from below the subject, which can create an unsettling feeling in the viewer. This technique can be used to make the subject of the shot seem larger and more imposing, which can be particularly effective when shooting a monster or other intimidating figure. The use of low angles can create a sense of unease, making the viewer feel vulnerable and powerless. 3. Dutch Angles A Dutch angle, also called a candid angle, is a shot that is taken with the camera tilted to one side. This technique can be used to create a disorienting and unsettling effect, making the viewer feel as though something is off-kilter or wrong. Dutch angles can be used to convey a sense of unease or confusion which can be particularly effective in a horror film. 4. Tracking Shots A tracking shot is a long take in which the camera is moved along with the action. This technique can be used to create a sense of momentum and urgency, and can be particularly effective when used to follow a character who is being chased or pursued. In a horror film, tracking shots can be used to create a sense of panic and fear, as the viewer is taken along with the action. 5. Jump Cuts A jump cut is a sudden cut between two shots that are taken from the same angle. This technique can be used to create a sense of unease and disorientation, as the viewer is abruptly taken out of the scene. Jump cuts can be used to create a jarring effect, which can be particularly effective in a horror film. Lighting plays a pivotal role in setting the mood for any film, particularly horror films. In a horror film, lighting is used to create a sense of unease and fear among the audience. Dark shadows, dim lighting, and spotlights can be used to manipulate the viewer's emotions and create an eerie atmosphere. To create an even more unsettling effect, filmmakers often use colored lighting to create a certain tone or mood. For example, purples and blues can be used to create a gloomy and somber atmosphere, while reds and oranges can be used to create a feeling of fear and danger. Sound is another important element in creating a spooky atmosphere in horror films. Music and sound effects can enhance scary scenes and build tension. Sound effects such as creaking doors, eerie whispers, and sudden screams can create a jarring and unsettling effect on the audience. Music can also be used to create a sense of danger and fear. Dark and ominous music can create a sense of dread and anticipation, while sudden loud noises can create a jump scare. Now that we have explored the role of lighting and sound effects in creating a spooky atmosphere, let's discuss the technical aspects of horror film production that can be used to create this effect. One key technical aspect of horror film production is the use of camera angles and movements. Low angles and tilted shots can create a sense of disorientation and fear, while fast camera movements can create a sense of chaos and urgency. Close-up shots can be used to magnify the horror of a particular scene, while long shots can create a sense of isolation and detachment. Another important technical aspect of horror film production is the use of special effects. 
Makeup and prosthetics can be used to create gruesome and terrifying creatures, while CGI and other digital effects can be used to create a sense of supernatural terror. Lighting and sound effects can be used to enhance these effects and create an even scarier atmosphere. Finally, the use of location and setting is also important in creating a spooky atmosphere in horror films. How to Film Fast and Powerful Action Scenes Filming action scenes can be some of the most challenging and rewarding moments in filmmaking. Capturing the intensity and energy of fast-paced action requires careful planning, preparation, and execution. In this article, we will explore some techniques and strategies for filming fast and intense action scenes. Storyboarding and Pre-Visualization Storyboarding and pre-visualization are essential steps in planning an action scene. This involves drawing out the sequence of shots and movements, and visualizing the action before filming begins. When storyboarding an action scene, it's important to consider the movement and flow of the action, and to plan out the shots and angles that will capture the intensity and energy of the scene. Choreography and Stunt Coordination Choreography and stunt coordination are essential elements in filming action scenes. This involves working with actors and stunt performers to plan and rehearse the movements and actions of the scene. When choreographing an action scene, it's important to consider the realism and safety of the movements. And to work closely with the stunt coordinator to ensure that the scene is executed safely and effectively. Camera placement and movement. Camera placement and movement are crucial elements in filming action scenes. This involves using a variety of shots and angles to capture the movement and intensity of the scene. When placing the camera for an action scene, it's important to consider the movement and flow of the action, and to use a variety of shots and angles to capture the intensity and energy of the scene. Lighting and color. Lighting and color are important elements in filming action scenes. This involves using lighting and color to enhance the mood and tone of the scene, and to create a sense of dynamic energy. When lighting an action scene, it's important to consider the movement and flow of the action, and to use lighting to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. It's also important to consider the color palette of the scene, and to use color to create a sense of dynamic energy and excitement. Sound design. Sound design is an essential element in filming action scenes. This involves using sound effects and music to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. When designing the sound for an action scene, it's important to consider the movement and flow of the action, and to use sound effects and music to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. Editing and pacing. Editing and pacing are crucial elements in filming action scenes. This involves using a variety of shots and angles to create a sense of dynamic energy and excitement. When editing an action scene, it's important to consider the pace and rhythm of the scene, and to use editing to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. It's also important to use pacing to create a sense of dynamic energy and excitement. Special effects. Special effects are an important element in filming action scenes. This involves using computer-generated imagery, CGI, and other special effects to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. When using special effects in an action scene, it's important to consider the realism and effectiveness of the effects, and to use special effects to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. Camera Equipment and Technology Camera equipment and technology are important elements in filming action scenes. This involves using high-quality cameras, lenses, and other equipment to capture the movement and intensity of the scene. When selecting camera equipment and technology for an action scene, 
it's important to consider the specific needs of the scene. And to use equipment and technology that can capture the movement and intensity of the scene. Location and set design. Location and set design are important elements in filming action scenes. This involves selecting locations and designing sets that can enhance the mood and tone of the scene, and provide a safe and effective environment for the action. When selecting locations and designing sets for an action scene, it's important to consider the specific needs of the scene. And to use locations and sets that can enhance the mood and tone of the scene, and provide a safe and effective environment for the action. Actor performance. Actor performance is an important element in filming action scenes. This involves working closely with actors and stunt performers to ensure that the movements and actions of the scene are executed effectively and safely. When working with actors and stunt performers for an action scene, it's important to consider their abilities and limitations and to work closely with them to ensure that the movements and actions of the scene are executed safely and effectively. Continuity and coverage. Continuity and coverage are important elements in filming action scenes. This involves using multiple cameras and angles to capture the movement and intensity of the scene and ensuring that the shots are consistent and flow smoothly. When filming an action scene, it's important to consider the continuity and coverage of the scene, and to use multiple cameras and angles to capture the movement and intensity of the scene. Safety and risk management Safety and risk management are essential elements in filming action scenes. This involves working closely with the stunt coordinator and other safety professionals to ensure that the scene is executed safely and effectively. When filming an action scene, it's important to prioritize safety and risk management, and to work closely with the stunt coordinator and other safety professionals to ensure that the scene is executed safely and effectively. Collaboration and Communication Collaboration and communication are crucial elements in filming action scenes. This involves working closely with the director, cinematographer, stunt coordinator, and other members of the film crew to ensure that the scene is executed effectively and safely. When filming an action scene, it's important to prioritize collaboration and communication. And to work closely with the director, cinematographer, stunt coordinator, and other members of the film crew to ensure that the scene is executed effectively and safely. Movement and Rhythm Movement and rhythm are important elements in filming action scenes. This involves using a combination of fast and slow movements to create a sense of dynamic energy and excitement. When choreographing an action scene, it's important to consider the movement and rhythm of the scene. And to use a combination of fast and slow movements to create a sense of dynamic energy and excitement. Visual effects. Visual effects are an important element in filming action scenes. This involves using computer-generated imagery, CGI, and other visual effects to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. When using visual effects in an action scene, it's important to consider the realism and effectiveness of the effects, and to use visual effects to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. Music and soundtrack. Music and soundtrack are crucial elements in filming action scenes. This involves using music and sound effects to enhance the intensity and energy of the scene. When selecting music and sound effects for an action scene, it's important to consider the specific needs of the scene. How to make an animated series. In this video, we will explore the various steps involved in creating an animated series that captivates audiences and stands the test of time. Step 1. Develop the concept. The first step in creating an animated series is to develop a concept that is both unique and engaging. 
This involves brainstorming ideas and identifying the core themes and messages that the series will convey. Once the concept is solidified, it's important to create a detailed outline of the story arc for the entire series. Step 2. Create the characters. The characters in an animated series are the heart and soul of the show. They need to be compelling, relatable, and visually appealing. This involves developing detailed character profiles that outline their personalities, quirks, and motivations. Once the characters are developed, it's important to create concept art and 3D models to bring them to life. Step 3. Write the script. The script is the backbone of the animated series. It needs to be well-written, engaging, and tightly paced. The script should be broken down into individual episodes, each with its own story arc and cliffhanger ending. It's also important to create a full series bible that outlines the rules and constraints of the world in which the series takes place. Step 4. Storyboard the episodes. Once the script is finalized, the next step is to storyboard the episodes. This involves creating a visual representation of each scene in the episode, including camera angles, character movements, and special effects. Storyboarding helps to ensure that the pacing and visuals of the show are consistent and engaging. Step 5. Produce the animation. The animation process involves creating the visuals that bring the story and characters to life. This can be done using traditional animation techniques or computer-generated imagery, CGI. The animation team works closely with the storyboard artists and writers to ensure that the visuals align with the story and accurately depict the characters and their movements. Step 6. Record the dialogue. The dialogue in an animated series is typically recorded before the animation process begins. This involves hiring voice actors to perform the lines of the characters. The voice actors work closely with the writers and directors to ensure that the tone and delivery of their lines accurately reflect the character's personality and motivations. After conducting research and consulting with industry professionals, the following is a comprehensive list of equipment and software needed to create an animated series. 1. Computer with a powerful processor and graphics card, this is the most important piece of equipment for creating an animated series. A computer with a powerful processor and graphics card will be able to handle the demands of animating and rendering high-quality graphics. 2. Drawing Tablet A drawing tablet is a necessary tool for creating digital art. It provides a more natural and intuitive way to draw and sketch than a mouse and keyboard. 3. Animation Software There are many animation software options available, but some of the most popular include Toon Boom Harmony, Adobe Animate, and TV Paint. These programs provide a range of tools for animating characters and scenes. 4. Audio editing software. Sound is an important aspect of any animated series. Audio editing software, such as Pro Tools or Adobe Audition, is needed to edit and mix sound effects, voiceovers, and music. 5. Video editing software, after the animation and sound are complete, a video editing program, such as Adobe Premiere, is used to put everything together and create the final product. 6. Storage solutions, creating an animated series requires a lot of storage capacity. External hard drives or cloud storage options are necessary to store all of the files and footage. 
7. Backup Solutions It is crucial to have backup solutions in place to prevent the loss of important data. This can include making regular backups of files and having search protectors and uninterruptible power supply, UPS, units. In addition to the equipment and software listed above, it is important to have a team of skilled professionals, including animators, voice actors, and a production crew to bring the animated series to life. Collaboration and communication among the team members are critical to ensure that the final product meets the desired vision and quality standards. Creating an animated series is a complex and demanding process, but with the right equipment, software, and team, it is possible to produce a high-quality, entertaining final product. 1. Developing a Storyline the first step in creating an animated series is developing a storyline that will engage the audience. The storyline should be original and captivating, with a clear beginning, middle, and end. You should also consider the target audience and age range for the show, as this will affect the style and tone of the story. Step 1. Develop a Storyline the first step in creating an animated series is to develop a strong storyline. A good story is the backbone of any successful TV series, and it is important to take the time to craft a compelling plot that will keep viewers engaged. To begin, start by brainstorming ideas for your plot. Consider what themes you want to explore, what type of characters you want to feature, and what tone you want to set for your series. Once you have a basic idea of the direction you want to take your story, begin fleshing out the details. Create a detailed outline or script that outlines the major plot points, character arcs, and key themes of your series. 2. Designing Characters Once you have a solid storyline, the next step is to design the characters. The characters should be unique and memorable with distinct personalities and backstories. How to use film editing techniques to create wide format movies. In recent years, the popularity of widescreen formats for films has grown significantly. Widescreen formats allow filmmakers to capture and display a wider range of information on the screen creating a more immersive and cinematic experience for the viewer. In this article, we will explore some techniques and strategies for using editing techniques to create films in widescreen formats. Framing and Composition Framing and composition are essential elements in creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using different framing techniques and composition rules to create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. When framing and composing shots for a widescreen film, it's important to consider the different aspects of the frame, such as the foreground, middle ground, and background. It's also important to consider the rule of thirds and other composition rules to create a sense of balance and stability on the screen. Aspect Ratio Aspect ratio is a crucial element in creating films in widescreen formats. This involves selecting the appropriate aspect ratio for the film, which determines the width and height of the screen. When selecting the aspect ratio for a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film, and to choose an aspect ratio that best complements the content and style of the film. Pan and Scan Pan and Scan is a technique used in widescreen films to adjust the framing of the shot to fit different aspect ratios. This involves panning and scanning the shot to fit different aspect ratios, and adjusting the framing and composition of the shot accordingly. When using pan and scan in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the shot, 
and to adjust the framing and composition of the shot accordingly to maintain the integrity and quality of the shot. Letterboxing Letterboxing is a technique used in widescreen films to display the full width of the shot on the screen. While adding black bars to the top and bottom of the screen to maintain the aspect ratio of the shot. When using letterboxing in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the shot. And to adjust the framing and composition of the shot accordingly to maintain the integrity and quality of the shot. Editing and post-production Editing and post-production are crucial elements in creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using various editing techniques and post-production tools to enhance the framing, composition, and aspect ratio of the shot. When editing and post-producing a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use editing techniques and post-production tools that can enhance the framing, composition, and aspect ratio of the shot. Color grading. Color grading is an essential element in creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using different color grading techniques to enhance the mood and tone of the film, and to create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. When color grading a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use color grading techniques that can enhance the mood and tone of the film, and create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. Sound design Sound design is an important element in creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using different sound design techniques to enhance the immersive experience of the film, and to create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. When designing the sound for a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use sound design techniques that can enhance the immersive experience of the film, and create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. Transition techniques. Transition techniques are another important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using different transition techniques such as fades, dissolves, wipes, and cuts to create smooth and seamless transitions between shots. When using transition techniques in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film and to use transition techniques that can enhance the flow and continuity of the film. Special effects Special effects are an important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using different special effects techniques such as CGI, animation, and visual effects to enhance the visual impact of the film. When using special effects techniques in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use special effects techniques that can enhance the visual impact of the film and create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. Multi-camera editing. Multi-camera editing is another important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using multiple cameras to capture different angles and perspectives of the same scene, and then editing them together to create a seamless and immersive experience. When using multi-camera editing in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use multiple cameras that can capture different angles and perspectives of the same scene to create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. Slow motion and time lapse. Slow motion and time lapse are important techniques in film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. 
This involves using different speed variations to create a sense of time distortion and to enhance the visual impact of the film. When using slow motion and time lapse in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use them to enhance the visual impact of the film and to create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. Aspect ratio changes. Aspect ratio changes are another important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves using aspect ratio changes to create a sense of transition or to emphasize a certain part of the film. When using aspect ratio changes in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to use aspect ratio changes that can enhance the visual impact of the film and create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen. Collaborative editing. Collaborative editing is another important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves working closely with other members of the film crew, such as the director, cinematographer, and sound designer, to ensure that the editing process enhances the overall vision and message of the film. When collaborating on the editing process of a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to work closely with other members of the film crew to ensure that the editing process enhances the overall vision and message of the film. Color correction. Color correction is an important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves adjusting the color of shots to ensure that they are consistent with each other and with the overall tone and mood of the film. When using color correction in a widescreen film, it's important to consider the specific needs of the film. And to adjust the color of shots to create a sense of depth and perspective on the screen and to enhance the visual impact of the film. Audio mixing. Audio mixing is another important aspect of film editing when creating films in widescreen formats. This involves adjusting the levels and balance of the different audio tracks in the film, such as dialogue, music, and sound effects, to create a cohesive and immersive audio experience. Steps to Filming a Sci-Fi Movie Making a science fiction movie is a challenging and exciting process. It requires a lot of hard work, dedication, and creativity to bring a futuristic world to life. In this article, we will discuss the steps involved in making a science fiction movie. Step 1. Develop the idea. The first step in making a science fiction movie is to develop the idea. This can be a challenging task as science fiction is a broad genre that can encompass a wide range of ideas. To develop the idea, the filmmakers must first decide on the central theme of the movie. This could be anything from time travel to space exploration to artificial intelligence. Once the theme has been established, the filmmakers must then create a compelling story that explores this theme. This involves developing interesting characters, creating a unique world, and crafting an engaging plot that will keep the audience hooked. Step 2. Write the script. After the idea has been developed, the next step is to write the script. This involves creating a detailed outline of the story and fleshing out the characters and world. The script should be carefully crafted to ensure that it is engaging, entertaining, and thought-provoking. The script should also take into account the limitations of the budget and the available resources. For example, if the movie involves complex special effects, the script should be written with these effects in mind. 
Step 3. Pre-production Once the script has been finalized, the next step is pre-production. This involves planning and preparing for the actual filming of the movie. This includes hiring actors, scouting locations, and creating storyboards. During pre-production, the filmmakers must also decide on the look and feel of the movie. This includes designing the costumes, creating the sets, and determining the overall visual style of the film. Step 4. Production The production phase is where the actual filming takes place. This involves setting up the cameras, lighting, and sound equipment and capturing the scenes outlined in the script. The actors must also be directed to deliver their lines and perform their actions in a convincing manner. The production phase can be a long and arduous process, especially if the movie involves complex special effects. However, it is also an exciting time as the filmmakers begin to see their vision come to life. Step 5. Post-production After the filming is complete, the movie enters post-production. This is where the footage is edited and the special effects are added. The sound effects and music are also added during this phase. Post-production can take a long time, especially if the movie involves a lot of special effects. However, it is an essential part of the process as it allows the filmmakers to refine and polish the movie to create a final product that is visually stunning and emotionally resonant. Step 6. Release and Promotion The final step in making a science fiction movie is to release and promote the film. This involves marketing the movie to potential audiences through trailers, posters, and other promotional materials. The movie is then released in theaters or on streaming platforms. During this phase, the filmmakers must also engage with the audience and respond to feedback. This allows them to refine their craft and improve their skills for future projects. In addition to the steps outlined above, there are several other important considerations when making a science fiction movie. One of the most important aspects of a science fiction movie is the world building. Creating a believable and immersive world is essential for engaging the audience and making the story feel real. This involves developing the history, culture, and technology of the world and ensuring that everything is consistent and makes sense within the context of the story. The actors must be able to convincingly portray the characters and bring them to life on screen. They must also have chemistry with each other and be able to work together to create a cohesive and engaging story. Special effects are also a crucial part of a science fiction movie. From spaceships to aliens to futuristic cities, the special effects must be well executed and believable. This requires a skilled team of artists and technicians who can bring the director's vision to life. Sound design is also important in a science fiction movie. From the sound of a spaceship taking off to the hum of a futuristic city, the sound effects must be carefully crafted to create a realistic and immersive experience for the audience. The director must have a clear understanding of the story, the characters, and the world they are creating. They must be able to guide the actors and crew to bring their vision to life on screen. In addition to the factors mentioned above, there are several other important considerations when making a science fiction movie. One key consideration is the use of themes and motifs in the story. 
Science fiction often explores complex ideas and concepts, and using recurring themes and motifs can help to tie the story together and create a deeper and more meaningful experience for the audience. For example, a science fiction movie about artificial intelligence might explore themes of humanity, consciousness, and the nature of life itself. Science fiction movies often use symbolism and allegory to explore complex ideas and convey deeper meaning. For example, a science fiction movie about an alien invasion might be used as an allegory for real-world political or social issues. The use of humor can also be an effective tool in a science fiction movie. Humor can be used to lighten the mood and add levity to a story that might otherwise be very serious and heavy. It can also be used to create contrast and help the audience to connect with the characters on a more emotional level. Another important factor to consider is the pacing of the movie. Science fiction movies often involve complex plots and world building, which can make them feel slow and dense. It is important to balance the exposition and action in the story to keep the audience engaged and interested.